What's up, mentorship maniacs, mentorship freaks? It is a daily dose of the mentorship motivator. Today, we are talking about structure, strategy, planning, scheduling, whatever the hell you want to call call it. So let me ask you this question. Do you have structure in your day? And not just once in a while. Do you have structure in your day every day? Do you know what you're doing each day of the week for the next week, for the next month, for the, for the fucking year? On top of that, do you know what your people are doing every day of the week? Do they have structure and plan and strategy? And did you trickle that down to them and help them set it up? Do you structure your day? Do you schedule everything out? Are you organized in your day and your daily routines? Not just your morning routines. I'm talking about the entire day when it comes to meetings and everything is planned out. You already know. You don't even need to look at your calendar until it's time to do it because you know you've already done the due diligence. You've already done the preparation and the strategy and the planning ahead of time. Can you answer those questions. And if you answer no to any of those questions, guess what? Don't expect any of your team to be well organized or structured or even execute your plans if you didn't properly create those plans for them. So that's what you need to do is let this trickle down to your team on top of it. So keep and, and as you're doing all this structure and planning and organizing and scheduling, what you need to do as the freaking leader, as the CEO, owner, whatever the hell we are, you need to keep that big picture in mind. That's what your job is. Keep the big picture in mind in all of your freaking planning. While you're keeping that big picture in mind, you need to know your freaking soldiers. Know your troops. Every single one of them, you need to know them. Know their strengths, their weaknesses, what they're capable of. And part of the strategy in where you're placing them, who's doing what, who's attacking where. Sure, it should be based off their strengths. Obviously, they want to be in the right seat of the bus doing the right the work that they're good at and attacking it, but whatever weaknesses they have in their position, you need to still work on those weaknesses. Don't be of that mind frame. All right, we're a strengths only. We're you know we're gonna be strength focused leadership or whatever the hell you want to call that. They still have weaknesses. If if there's a weakness in their position, sure they might have a weakness of something they don't even have to worry about. But even that you should probably help them with eventually. But if they have a weakness in their position, you can't just say okay we're just gonna work on their strengths and forget about their weaknesses because even a tiny hole will eventually sink a freaking ship. It'll take a while, but it's going to be slowly going downhill and sinking. And, and by the time that thing took on too much water, it's too late. That person's gone. That business is gone. So know their strengths and weaknesses. Know what they're capable of. Put them in the right positions. Plan for that. Structure things out. Use that as part of your overall strategy as you're looking from above. But when you're doing that, be realistic. Be realistic with them and what they're capable of. Don't don't grind them to, to the fucking grave and burn them out. Now, I'm not saying don't push them and pressure them. You definitely want, we, we will push and pressure you to make sure we get every ounce of what you're capable out of you, but only what you're capable of and maybe a little bit more. Not to where it's just a complete state of overwhelm and you're useless and now you're ineffective rather than more effective. So push them, pressure them, make them live up to your high freaking standards and expectations but you need to be realistic about it. Be realistic about it. Don't grind them out. They're not you. We know they're fucking humans. Talked about humans a couple a couple weeks ago. They're humans. Somewhat humans. They're not you. They can't, they're not doing what you do. And they, they're probably not capable of doing what you're doing. If they were, they'd probably be your freaking competition. So be realistic with how you push and pressure them and know when to push and pressure them. Know how much pressure to put on at what times. That's all strategy. That's all planning ahead of time knowing who's going to do what and for how long and not burning them out and grinding them into the fucking ground. And when you're setting this plan for each each part of the team and, and, and the mission, you need to set the plan, clearly communicate it to each person, and then just monitor its execution from your position, from where you are. Monitor your ex execution. Make sure they're doing their job, obviously. Push them and pressure them when needed. But be willing and ready to jump into the battle when needed. Someone is ready, is on the ground, ready to take a, a freaking bayonet slash to the neck. You better jump in, save their ass, show them what they did, what they could do better next time, and jump back out, send them into their next battle. Now, listen, if they get their next slash one too many times, that's going to be it. They're going to be gone, probably gone for good. But don't be willing to jump in and help them out. Lead the way, lead by example. Don't be afraid to get your, you know, some dirt under your fingernails once in a while. And you need to plan for that. That needs to be part of your strategy, knowing that you're capable of it, knowing that you're willing to do it, and knowing that you have the time to be inefficient in doing that if needed and have that as one of your, pretty much your backup plans, right? And that goes into 
having a backup plan for everything. You need a contingency plan for everything you do. A plan A, B, C, all the way to fucking Z. A, a primary plan, secondary, tertiary, all the, all the way on down the line. And if your only backup plan is for you to go do it yourself, if someone fucks up, that's no good. Like, what are you going to do right now if one of your managers just quits right on the spot? Says, I, I just can't do this anymore. I need to quit. Or one of your people in your administration team, one of your, your admin team, customer service team, just screws up today. They need to be fired right on the spot today. What are you going to do? What is your backup plan for that situation? Have you thought about it? Do you have pieces in place to deal with that other than you just jumping in of course you jumping in that's like fucking plan z that's like the last doomsday scenario where you have to actually jump in that should be your last you should have many options before that of what's going to go on like who's going to take off that workload how is it going to be split up who is available to fill in these spots and these hours those are things you need to plan a freaking ahead of time way ahead of time so plan it communicate it monitor the execution jump in when needed but have backup plans for everything backup plan for everything because guess what you need to plan for disaster because then it won't be a disaster when disaster happens because there will be fucking disasters and you know it there will be disasters all the time all the time if you're ready for it it won't be a disaster when it happens and you won't get overwhelmed and swarmed by the enemy and get overrun by your competitors and your enemy when things do go sideways like you need you, you can't stop in the middle of battle and have time to think about what should I do next? You need to already be, know, and everyone already is already been informed about what if this happens, this is what we're gonna do. If this happens, this is what we're gonna do. And so the second that that trigger happens and things go sideways and the plan doesn't go according to plan, automatically it's like bam, okay, initiate plan B. Boom, it's up and running. Everyone's been trained on it. It's been structured and planned and strategized way ahead of time. Like everyone, everyone thinks Mike Tyson said this saying. But it really, as far as I know, is Joe Lewis. Who knows? Maybe Spartacus fucking said it years and thousands of years ago before that. But as far as I know, Joe Lewis, the first one that said it, he said, everyone has a plan till they get hit. And then Mike Tyson just redid that saying, said everyone has a plan till they get punched in the face. Same fucking thing. But you are going to get punched in the face many times. You're going to get punched in the face, kicked in the stomach. You're going to fall down. When you fall down, you're going to get fucking stomped on. Do you have a backup plan for that? To deal with that? And are you ready to deal with that? And I know you're ready to deal with that because you're in this fucking group. But you need to plan, have a secondary backup plans for when shit goes wrong, because shit will go wrong. No plan ever, no strategy ever survives contact with the enemy. It just doesn't happen. Always something that goes off. Piece of equipment stops working. Your, your rifle jams. Always something happens. You know the saying, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So be prepared for that anything, for every situation. Have a backup plan for every possible outcome, every possible thing that can go wrong in the situation. Expect the best plan for the worst. You've heard all this stuff before. It's just, I'm just reinforcing this into you. You know this stuff already. And then in this planning and strategizing, be ready to spot any hidden opportunities that you can capitalize on, that you can lead you, push you forward ahead, even when things go sideways. Because you don't have to worry about the backup plan. You can actually exploit opportunities that might be there that you didn't even know about. Because it's all about this preparation, all about preparation, strategy, planning, scheduling stuff out, having fucking structure, knowing what you're doing every minute of the day. Preparation is going to lead to confidence and results. It's going to lead to an outcome. And of course, it's going to lead to mission accomplishment and victory. But it's also going to lead to your team wanting to follow you because they're like, all right, this motherfucker has their shit together. I could follow this person. That's what strategy and structure is going to do for you. Like you just have all your shit lined up. You know exactly what you're doing every day, all the time. Everyone knows where you're going to be. Everyone knows right now on my team that I'm about to go do my lifting. It's just going to happen. That's just what happens at this time every day. And that's the way it is. So have it down, lock down, lock down your routine, lock down your strategies, make shit happen. Structure, strategy, planning, scheduling, and plan for anything to go wrong. This has been Mentorship Motivator. I will talk to you soon. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.